Until the mid-1800s, people folded or laid their clothes flat, or hung them on hooks or pegs. Once it became more common to store clothes in a wardrobe, someone, historians don't know exactly who, invented the clothes hanger, a hanging device shaped like human shoulders. Since the mid-19th century, hundreds of inventors have patented various shaped hangers, many of which are still being produced today. This Czech company makes wooden hangers in several styles. It uses beech, a hard and durable type of wood. The damp logs air dry outdoors for seven months, then go into a kiln for three to four weeks. Drying the wood is critical, otherwise the hangers would expand and contract with temperature changes and eventually crack. Workers first use a band saw to slice the logs into six centimeter thick planks. Then they put each plank through a broaching machine. Inside, a toothed blade planes the wood, rendering the top and bottom surfaces level and smooth. Next stop is a grinding machine, which contains abrasive belts. Workers feed the planks into the machine one at a time. As each plank passes through, the belts above it sand the top silky smooth. When the plank exits the machine, workers flip and refeed it to smooth the other side. An automated saw cuts each plank in half. and trims the halves to a specific dimension. The now smaller planks go into another grinding machine, which sands the sides smooth. Now the hanger shaping begins. Workers stack 10 planks and using a circular saw, cut them to the same length, the ends at a 60 degree angle. They mount four planks at a time on a milling machine and cut a tongue and groove profile on the edges. They'll later connect the hanger parts by fitting the tongues into the grooves. Stacking six planks now, they trace a hanger-shaped template on the top surface, then carefully follow the trace line with a jigsaw. Each plank is now roughly shaped into half a hanger, which they call a lamella. This particular hanger is designed for dresses, so they mill a groove in the shoulder of each lamella for garment straps. Then an automated milling machine refines and finalizes the hanger shape, smoothing the roughly cut wood in the process. Next, with strong cabinet maker's glue, they coat the tongues and grooves of two lamellas, then fit them together on a press. They let the glue dry for a day then saw the point off the top. This creates a flat area into which to insert the hanger's hook. There's already a hole for it there, made when they milled the tongue and groove profile. Next, they sand the joint to remove excess glue and smooth out any nicks or tears in the wood. Then they round the angular joint. To seal and protect the wood, they now spray the entire surface with varnish. When it dries, they do a rough sanding, then apply a second coat and let that dry. Many customers want their logo printed on the hangers they order. The printing machine coats a logo embossed rubber pad with ink. A sponge dabs the pad, then stamps the logo onto the hanger. Finally, the hanger's iron hook. It's either nickel plated for a silver tone or brass plated for a gold tone. Workers position the hook, then a press rams it into the wood one centimeter deep. The hook has screw-like threads at the base, which grab and lock into the surrounding wood. For certain models, the factory stains or paints the wood prior to varnishing it. After all, Many people like their clothes hangers to make a fashion statement too.